What's good, everybody? It's your boy Solo Games here, and I have Mr. Chad Andrew. And I might ask you what you did today. Tell me, what did you do today? Uh, I got fifth place at Kissimmee Regionals playing uh, Prank It, Eldlich, Magicians, DPE, Adventure 60. So I call it PEMDAS. Oh, wait, I've seen this on the Zodiac one time. Now I'm thinking about yeah, it like a PEMDAS or list. something like that. Someone leak my list. <laughs> All right, so it was nine rounds, and you got fifth place, so you got X1, right? Yeah, I lost to Dino round two, because he had uh, Doka damn. Dragoon UCT. Doka and Dragoon? Oh. So I got two O'd. All right. Let's, great. Let's get into it. All right, so start off with the kids. Uh, three of all the good ones, and then one Roxy's. Uh, nothing really to explain here. Uh, the two perks, only one Pandemonium. You don't really want to see this card. You just want to send it off fanzies. Oh, uh, and then four field spells. Just more names. Yep. One card starters. 60 card deck, right? Yeah, 60. Uh, and then that's it for the pranks. Uh, for the Eldritch, I only played eight Eldritch cards. And I was, it was 10 the night before, but I ended up cutting an Eldlin and a Conk for uh, extra hand traps. Okay. So, that's the Eldritch on it. So this worked out pretty good, double sanguine. It was amazing, honestly. Like it, it overperformed way better than having uh, the third Elden and third Conk. Uh, just for games where you get scythed, or just games where you have to push through, it adds so much value, especially with souls. So I must have brought back Lord like three times. <laughs> and it was always like super strong, because 35 can't be killed. The card of uh, The Brave stuff, three Enchantress, uh, one Fateful, three Right. Draco back, Griffin, Foolish, nothing really to explain here. Yep, the standard 10, you're either playing this or you're playing I, Handicaps. Yeah, I was playing the uh, second adventure, I just decided to cut it for another hand trap, I don't think it was needed. The majority of my games ended up fairly ended fairly quick, so I never needed the second one. Uh, now for the Souls package, uh, two Illusion, two Souls, one Prep. Uh, I played the prep over the third illusion. Even though it does play into draw a little bit, uh, just having the extra spell, the extra consistency is nice. But yeah, souls, they stopped it every time. I never resolved this card. <laughs> because I was sending lich cards, I was sending plays. It was just... They're probably thinking you're playing Cyber so it's like, yeah. we can't let this guy get, dig also, into his trap cards. Like if you Draco back, if you dead draw, your dasher, celestial, extra pranks, whatever. Such a good so. consistency card. And then, uh, you can just switch to Alright. I drew this three times off Roxy's, and I drew Dasher twice. I drew this card a lot. By a lot, I mean like four or five times. <laughs> uh, that's it for all the engine pieces. Uh, hand traps, I played three Nib, three Ash, three Droll. This card overperformed. Like, oh my god. Oh. This card was absurd. Uh, three Veiler, three Ogre, two Imperm. God damn. Yeah, so 17 hand traps. I decided to. Uh, cut Imperm down just because if you draw off hangs it's like not ideal, but it was really good regardless. Like all my hand traps were like just insane. Drawing twos. I was drawing two all day because I put it down up to 17. Yeah, the math does work out for that. Yeah. Uh, extra deck, the tokens, Ryotori. You gotta show love to them. Yeah. Uh, access code, unicorn, dark. Phoenix, I never went into any of these cards. Wow. Not once. But you have them as power plays, if anything. Yeah. Uh, Anaconda made this a lot for when I got nib because I play Prebo Spider. Uh, Prebo's for the prank token and souls. Uh, spider's for nib token and also uh, the prank token. Yeah, those are the only three generic ones I made. Okay. Uh, and then standard prank stuff. One Meow, two Doodle, third Bow Wow. Never missed a third because I was always like one, two for Franks. Okay. About to say, like, if the third came up. <laughs> uh, I never made this. Uh, I made Weather Washer once, but it was against the Dino Dude, and he just, it did not matter. <laughs> He's going to send everything. Yeah, no, it just because he sends everything. <laughs> uh, the one Butler, and then the DP. That's it for the extra deck. And then finally, the side deck. Uh, I watched Raphael Nevin's uh, deck list the other day, the video on Tatsun's channel. And basically, I copied it besides like the two uh, flex watches, which I changed it up. So, 
Uh, two bell, three gamma. This card is amazing against like the mirror match. Uh, three twin for back row decks and ranks. Uh, the two cards that I put in instead of uh, evenly, one storm, one dark roller. So the theory behind this is uh, if you go up against Flunder, they're going to side blowout cards like these. So if you put in cross outs and you have these in your deck, you're not losing to the said blowout cards. And also, that's true. drawing the one of their side And they're just strong yeah. cards. They're good, uh, good cards resolve, if you don't get side decks. each of these ones. So oh. That was nice. And then, uh, call by triple cross out. Just for going first. And against the mirror match. So before I ask you for details, any just quick shout outs or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I want to basically shout out the entire St. Pete, uh, Tampa crew. Shout out Dre. Uh, shout out... Yeah, shout out Nick Ortiz for helping build the side deck. Uh, shout out Alejandro. Uh, shout out my boy Javi who got 11. And yeah. So overall, this was like the in-person event. How'd you feel for it? It's been so long since we've seen everybody in one spot again. It, it felt amazing. Just walking through those doors, sitting down. You hear you got the 40 minutes. You may begin. Yeah. Josh with a sweet voice saying that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you again, bro. Uh, no hopefully I see you in Charlotte as well. All right, take care, everybody.